first. My name is Zan Ta, and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to create CD sheets from your Revit model. Here I am in Revit 2015. In the project browser, I can right click where it says Sheets All and say New Sheet, or I can go to the View tab of the ribbon, go to the Sheet Composition panel, and click Sheet. A new sheet window will pop open and display the current title block that's already loaded in the project. If that's what you want to use, you hit OK. If you'd like to load more, click Load and go to the US Imperial Library, scroll down to Title Blocks, and you have 8.5 by 11 up to 36 by 48 to work with. Let's pick 36 uh, by 48. Once you've selected it and hit OK, it loads it and makes it current. I hit OK and it creates a brand new sheet called a 103 unnamed. Why did it call it A103? Because the last sheet that was made or modified was A102, so it remembers this and sequentially it goes to the next one. You can right click and rename this whatever you want, for example A1, and call it Plans, and hit OK, and you'll see that it also changes down here. <clears throat> you can also double click slowly the text and call it whatever you want, and it will update and change here as well in the project browser. The information that's under owner, project name, so on and so forth, you can go to the Manage tab of the ribbon, go to Project Information, and input all of this data. If you do this here, all this information gets pushed to every single title block sheet that's in your project, so less typing. Now that the sheet is created, <clears throat> to place a view onto a sheet, you can left click and hold, drag and drop the view onto the sheet like so. You can place it wherever you want. The view is still selected. There is a title marker symbol with two little dots here that you can click and hold and drag. And this controls the length of the line. The view is still selected. You can actually change the name on the title and call it whatever you want. Say floor plan, first floor. Hit a, and then if you see, it'll change for you here, even though it still says level one in the project browser. With the view on the sheet, if you select it, you can rotate it 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise to fit on the sheet properly. If you need to work within the view from the sheet, you can double click the view and it will open up and you can do whatever you need to do. For example, uh, in the view control toolbar, putting things like shadow on, changing it to shaded, uh, even changing the scale. And if you change the scale, everything updates accordingly. So let's leave it back at 8 so it fits nicely on the sheet. When you finish, you can double click out here. In 2015 and higher, you can do that. If you um, don't do the, if you don't have 2015 or higher, uh, you can right click and deactivate the view. If you go over to the project browser and expand the plus symbol next to your sheet, you'll see a list of views that are inside that sheet. If I make another sheet, it creates a sheet, it says we want to unnamed, and I can drag and drop another view onto that sheet. If I want to take floor plan level 1 view and move it from 101 to 102, if I try to drag and drop level 1 view onto A1, it won't let me do it because it knows it's already there. If I need to, I can left click and hold the view here, drag and drop it here in the project browser. It'll rip it out of 1 and put, allow me to put it into 2, like so. If you need to delete a view, just select it and hit the delete key on your keyboard or hit the X here under the modify panel. If you're working with a project and it has uh, symbols such as section markers, call out, annotation that's referring to you. So let's say, for example, I go create a section like that and go to that view. You can see what that section looks like. Let's go ahead and enhance that a little bit. And if I go to my sheet and take that section and drag and drop it onto my sheet like so, you'll notice that any annotation will cross-reference and update accordingly. So that's how you create uh, a title block sheet, uh, sheets inside your set of construction documents in your Revit model. 
Thanks again for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.